Okay, so in this video we're taking a look at the LNE26 um, e-bike from Mac Wheel. This is sort of a cruiser uh, beach style uh, bike. It has uh, obviously a step through, uh, 26 inch wheels, and um, you know it's not a mountain bike obviously. It's going to be uh, easy for most people to get on and off. It's as, you know you, you kind of see these at a lot of beaches as a rental bike and uh, mainly because of the lower uh, step through there allows more people to use the bike. And uh, this is definitely in the budget class. It's currently $6.99, uh, but if you use my coupon code ALBERT in the checkout, it'll take $100 off, so it'll be $5.99. Anyway, this is a pretty basic bike. It'll do pretty much all the same things that the other e-bikes will do, but it lacks some of the fancier, higher cost features. So we'll start off here with the uh, 250 watt hub motor. Uh, pretty basic, it's gonna be uh, plenty of power for most situations and probably about a 20 to 25 degree incline on most hills. We've got a removal battery here. It's a 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery. Uh, the range is gonna vary a lot depending on how much pedal assist you use and throttle, or if you just use throttle only. If it's just throttle only, uh, they're saying about 20, 22 miles which is about uh, right for this battery pack. And there's these keys that are uh, currently attached to the uh, wires here, and that is for the battery. And you have a keyhole here, so you, currently it's locked, but you can use that to unlock the battery and remove it. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, with it locked, you can't remove the battery. So in the back here, we have a seven gear Shimano Cherney rear derailleur. And there's no front derailleur on this. Uh, it's pretty basic. It, it does it does work really well. Uh, you may need to do a little bit of tuning uh, with these screws right here for the high and upper, lower limit, and then there's a little uh, screw here as well for adjustments. If uh, you have trouble with uh, tuning the derailleur, well, let me know in the comments, and I'll send you a link to a video that I found to um, tune the derailleur. It was not that difficult, but you know, pretty common with most bikes in general. Uh, that you have to assemble, you have to uh, do a little bit of tuning. The front and rear brakes are these rim style brakes, kind of old school, not disc brakes on the front or rear like most e-bikes, but again this is for uh, uh, making this a budget bike. So you have a front rim brake and a rear rim brake. You have a headlight, a powered headlight, LED light in the front. Okay, so to turn on the headlight, you just long press the plus button on the controller. And that's it turned on. It's uh, fairly bright. It's not super bright, but it'll work in a pinch. So on the handlebars here, uh, you have a, the shifter, seven gears here, up and down. And then over here you have your uh, electronic display, which shows your power level your power assist level. So to turn on the display, or turn on the bike, you have to long press the M button. And you should see some blue lights. Not the easiest to see in sunlight. It defaults to power, le or power assist level zero, or sorry, power assist level one. If you want to go to zero, press down. And you can't really see that too well. Um, that will basically mean that the bike is on, but it doesn't provide any power assist or pedal assist. And then you have up to five levels of pedal assist. Over on the right side, you have a twist throttle and a uh, basically a locking mechanism to turn that off. So to have the throttle active, press the button in, and then you can use the throttle only and not pedal. If you don't want this to be active, you can just click this out and the throttle will not be active. So overall this is um, pretty easy to put together. Uh, the only you know thing that was a little bit confusing was the front fork. So the front fork as you can see kind of points forward here. In the box it was reversed and of course it is loose in the box so you can you know, move everything around. And they do that to pack it in as tight a, tight, a small a box as possible. So you want to make sure that your cables and everything are all untwisted. And then 
the light here, the headlight, was actually mounted backwards. You have to unmount the headlight. Well, you have to un unmount it any anyway to get everything installed. And then the front wheel has a quick release, which you have to install. And the quick release is not so useful, in my opinion, because of the rim brakes. You do have to loosen up this nut here to open up the rim brakes to get the wheel in and out. Um, I think after some practice, it probably is not going to be too difficult, but the first time getting this all in here was a little bit tricky. Uh, but other than that, putting it together was not difficult at all. Uh, you have a rear bike rack, you can see that I have a bag on there. This is my bag, it's not included. Uh, and you know, everything looks, everything was pretty straightforward. It wasn't confusing at all, um, other than what, in terms of the assembly. So if you're worried about that, it took me probably an hour to actually put it together once I took it out of the box. Taking it out of the box and cutting all the zip ties off and everything took about 30 minutes. So uh, all together about an hour and a half of work. Okay, so let's go take it out for a ride and we'll see how this performs. Okay, so I'm gonna start off in uh, pedal assist level one and I'm just gonna use a throttle. I'm not gonna pedal because I think pedaling is gonna vary based on a person. And let's see how this does just on power only from the battery. So we're gonna give it some throttle here. So one thing I forgot to mention in the intro is that this bike, again, being a budget bike, does not have any kind of uh, suspension, front or rear. Uh, so it's a little bit, I, I think I, I may have inflated the tires a little bit too high. I set them to 55. The range is 40 to 65, so you may want to go a little lower to get a slightly uh, softer ride. But this is not bad. If you're on sidewalks like this, this is uh, not going to be bad at all. So this is about half throttle on pedal assist one. And I'm going to go full throttle here. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. All right, I'll take it up to level two, pedal assist two. Speeding up. All right, taking it to level three. We're going a little bit faster. Okay, try level four now, though. It's starting to get a little bit too fast now for these turns. Now we're going pretty fast. Now the maximum speed they're saying is about 15 and a half miles an hour. All right, let's take it up to level five. Okay, that's pretty fast. All right, I'm just gonna go straight here. This is the maximum speed, maximum throttle. Okay, I'm gonna let go now. This is a little too fast for me. And hit the brakes. Yeah, so these rim brakes, they're not as uh, powerful as disc brakes, of course. So I think that's why they limit the speed to uh, 15 and a half miles per hour, which is plenty fast for this type of bike. It's just a cruiser. So I'm gonna take it back down to level three. And we're just going to cruise around a little bit here. So actually, I'm going to try the pedal assist now. I'm in uh, gear three and pedal assist three. So let me uh, actually go back to one. All right, so this is uh, pedaling now. Yeah, so I think the pedal assist, if, you're, if you are wanting to do the, most of the pedaling, is probably going to be most useful on hills. Also, if you're if you're pedaling and using the motor to help you, you it will maintain your speed on inclines. Uh, 
Also, if um, you are pedaling, you're going to obviously increase your range by a lot. I think uh, it's advertised to go up to 37 miles uh, using just uh, the battery as you know, pedal assist if you're mostly pedaling. So, you know, you can definitely take this bike pretty far. Let me uh, find like a street here and I can go a little faster and, and, and gear up. Okay, so there's a, here's, a, here's a straightaway street over here I can try out. All right, so still on level assist, pedal assist one. All right, going up to four. Yeah, so as you go to higher gears, the pedal assist doesn't seem like it's doing much. So I'm gonna increase the pedal assist. And I'm gonna go to three. And I'll gear up to five. Yeah, I'm going really fast here. All right, so that's too fast for me. I'm gonna slow down. All right, so I'm gonna see here like pedal assist level two and in gear five feels pretty decent. It's not too fast and I'm pedaling and I feel like uh, the motor is helping but not helping a lot. And I'm not using the throttle while I'm just pedaling. And this is a pretty good speed for me. I mean, I'm not a speed demon and I'm not looking for super fast ultimate performance, but this is pretty good for me. Yeah, the little bumps there are a bit rough without a suspension, but again, this is a budget bike, so. This is mainly, I think, if you're looking for a commuter bike and, um, you know, not going for like super long distance, but maybe just, you know, to school or something like that and back. Short distances should be totally fine. Yeah, so this is a, I guess you just kind of have to experiment here and find the uh, level, pedal assist level and gear that sort of, sort of uh, is uh, in your range. And this seems to be pretty good for me. I'm not going too fast. And I feel like uh, the motor isn't assisting at all uh, that much. It's kind of like the motor, I can hear the motor kind of going on and off. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that in the uh, <laughs> audio feed because it's probably pretty windy. But uh, I can I can I can hear the motor kind of kicking in and out, but it is maintaining my speed. And uh, you know I would estimate I'm probably going maybe 10 miles an hour. And I'm not going super fast. This is uh, good enough for me. Now the. Now the fact that this doesn't have a suspension, I mean, does mean the ride rides a little bit on the rough side. So if you're looking for comfort, you probably want to maybe swap out the seat. The seat's not bad, but um, uh, it, it is it has some cushion. But you may want to upgrade that. Oh, you know, get maybe a softer seat along with one of those um, seat posts with a built-in suspension. Uh, those aren't terribly expensive. I was, you know, you can probably get those in the range of uh, uh, 30 to $50, depending upon what you get. Yeah, overall, this is a, this is a pretty good deal. You know, if you're looking to get into an e-bike, but you're not wanting to spend a thousand or two thousand dollars maybe you want to try it out and then upgrade later um 
Yeah, this is a pretty decent option, I think. It's easy to ride, get on and off, and everything works pretty well. So that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And don't forget there is $100 off coupon code in the description to make this bike $5.99.